My name is Chris Rodwell from Escape the Rat Race. Now in yesterday's video, if you were lucky enough to see that, then what I did is start things off to show you a little bit about the different energies that we all possess and how we sh should follow our natural path of least resistance. So in our daily lives, if we're working or if we've already got a business, we have a natural genius. We have certain things that we're better at doing than others. Now the problem is at school, you know, we're almost punished if we're not good at all the subjects and we get decent grades at everything. But the thing is, we're not meant to be good at everything, you know. So really, what we're doing with Wealth Dynamics is helping you focus on what your strengths are. And the things you're not so good at, that's where you need to build your team and find other people who love doing those things. So just to recap really quickly yesterday, we started off with looking at the, uh, the different energies. Now we all sit into one of the four energies. Now you might be dynamo, where you're very intuitive, you're, you're always coming up with new ideas. So you know you have a million different ideas, but you never really get around to finishing them all off. So that's where you really need someone who's a blaze energy in your team. So blaze energies are, are the people people. So they love connecting, they love building the teams, they know who are the right people to get in for the job, okay? So if you've got the dynamo person in the team, in your business, who's coming up with the new products, the new ideas, the innovation, then you need someone blaze to go, okay, well that's a great idea. Who can we get? Who's the perfect team? And they'll pull those people together. Then we move around to tempo. Now you can see there's a gap here. Now yesterday I had a bit of a mental block where I was, I was thinking, what are the different elements? You've got wood, you've got fire, you've got metal. So actually, if you've guessed what it is, yeah, it's pretty obvious, but it's earth, okay? And I said yesterday that I'm a tempo, so I really should know that, shouldn't I? So what tempos are really good at doing is slowing the pace down, okay? So they're about the timing, they're sensory. So hence earth, the ear to the ground. Well, these guys are head in the clouds. The very opposite is ear to the ground, okay? So these people are really good at timing the markets. You know, you'll often find traders, people who are spotting the deals, and then you've got the steel energy over here on the left hand side. So steel energy people, their element is metal. And then if we talk about the seasons as well, then we talked about you've got the spring here. So the wood in the spring is the growth stage of a, of a business of ideas. Fire, where we, we connect it, we make it happen, we bring it to light. And then earth where we're slowing things down, okay? We're, you know, the project's up and running, the team is working, but we just need to get the time and we need to do everything, and just, you know, just keep things working at the right pace. And then here, metal. So whereas blaze people are very colorful, they, you know, they're bright, they're out there. These are more black and white people. They just look at the numbers and they understand whether we're on track or we're behind. So these people are great in your team for being like the financial people, the systems people, okay? Now, today I'm gonna to go into more detail about the actually the eight different entrepreneurial profiles that sit around here, okay? So, what I'm gonna to reveal to you at the end of this video is a link that you'll find where you can go and take a free test. It's called the Genius U test, and it was developed by Roger Hamilton, who's the creator of Wealth Dynamics. The Genius U test is a quick test, it will take about five minutes for you, and you'll find out at the end of that whether you are naturally a dynamo genius, a blaze genius, a tempo, or a steel genius, okay? That's gonna help you a lot, because that is going to let you realize, actually, you know what, maybe I'm in a job where I have to do a lot of systems and spreadsheet stuff, but actually I've come out as a blaze genius. So no wonder I don't really enjoy doing those jobs because I'm much better when I'm out and about and I'm meeting people. You know, maybe you can recognize that. And again, it might be that, um, that you, you know, you're, you're being asked to actually be a very creative role at work and come up with a lot of new ideas, but you might find actually that's not your natural genius. It doesn't come easily to you. And that's the thing here. When you focus on your natural genius and you do the things that come easiest to you, you start to get into flow. Okay, and flow is a magical thing, and that's really what we can go deeper into when we understand the eight entrepreneurial profiles, and you'll be one of these, and you'll find that out by taking the Wealth Dynamics Profile Test, okay? So, profile number one is up here, and this profile here is called the Creator. 
Okay, so it kind of makes sense because we said that these dynamo energy people are, are creative people. They're people who have a lot of ideas. It comes naturally to them. If you're in a team, these are the ones that will be coming up with the ideas. Okay, so that's profile number one there. Moving slightly over, profile number two. Apologies for my writing, a little bit messy. Is the star profile, okay? So again, if you look at the, the quadrant we have here, these are, are the creative people up the top here, people who are more intuitive thinkers, head in the clouds, but these people are the stars. So whereas the creator might be someone like a Richard Branson, the star is someone more like an Oprah Winfrey. Okay, so she is great at taking these ideas and actually amplifying that through her connections with people and the attraction that, that they create. Okay, so these people are great at actually shining the light on the idea, but not so much with coming up with the, the initial concepts. Okay, moving round here, we have, oops, supporters. Okay. Now the supporter role, now these really truly are the people that love going out and just making, uh, making the ideas work, so connecting the right people. Now I'm going to go into a little bit additional depth as well with this, I'm just pick my colours here, so what I'll go for. So the dynamo people, the question that they are great at asking is what, okay? What are we going to do next? What idea are we going to have? The Blaze people are great at asking the question, who? Who do we need to pull this project together? Who do we need to make this work? Okay, so they're the ones you want out and about doing your face-to-face -face client relations, you know, uh, your promotions, your marketing. These are, these are the Blaze Energy people. So supporters are great at that role, great at marketing. Okay, then we move down. And this is my profile down here. And this is called the deal maker. Okay, so the deal maker is the now you might think, okay, they're the ones who go out and do all the deals, okay, but because it's on the right hand side and it, it's a mixture of tempo and blaze energy here. So deal makers are just really good at the connection, okay? They're good at, at seeing the, both sides of the deal, the people that need to be involved to make the deal happen. So I mean, this is definitely one of my strengths with Escape the Rat Race, because I, what I'm doing, I'm creating an online hub, I'm creating a community, and I'm bringing in trusted mentors, trusted events, trusted programs, that I, I feel resonate with my natural values. And that creates a unique blend and that's what creates Escape the Rat Race. So all of the partners and all of the programs that I bring and introduce to Escape the Rat Race is really perfect because I'm a deal maker profile. So I'm, I can spot the right people to bring in and the timing, I know kind of when to do this as well. So that's, that's the deal maker. Then you have the trader profile here. We'll pop the trader there. So this typically, you know, it are your George Sor Soros's and, and Jim Rogers, you know, real traders, they can really spot the money. So whereas a deal maker might do just a few deals per year, typically someone like Donald Trump is actually a deal maker. So, you know, they'll make a big amount of money off, off deals. The trader is more in the margin. OK, so they do lots of deals and they make lots of little bits of money along the way. So this typically uh, will be in, in buying and selling, um, you know, maybe eBay businesses, Amazon businesses, good, good at that as well. Um, their timing, that's their speciality. They're knowing when to do the deal, when to go to, to, to market on a product launch, things like that. Okay, you wanna be listening to these people in your team as to when is the right time to launch something. Down here we have accumulators okay so these people are fantastic to have in your team because they're the ones who will tell you how much to spend how much not to spend a little bit all along this side is is along that but accumulators are really good for for just keeping a tight rein on when to do things as well because they're still timing as well so accumulators are, are great to have in the financial team and they'll do some analyzing but probably not as much as the lord who sits really strongly on the left here so these people 
everyone can be a leader. Every, this is all entrepreneurs, so you can make money in any section here, okay? Um, it just means you have to be the right player in the right team. So if you think about the analogy of a football team, okay, you need to know what your position is on the field. You know, if you're a striker, you need to know you're a striker and what your role is in that team. Your role is to score goals. If you're a defender, then you don't want to be up the front of the field because your teammates are going to go, whoa, what's going on? They're not going to want to pass the ball to you, okay? It's a little bit like this. When you understand where you sit and you have the right team around you, then it's very easy to, to let the right person do the right thing at the right time. And this is when you create flow and this is really when the business goes to the next level. Now, even if you're just starting out as an entrepreneur and you maybe don't have any team, even if you're an employee, okay, this still applies to you. Because if you're an entrepreneur, you need to know very quickly the things that are gonna suck your energy and the things that you should be passing on and getting other people outsourcing. So if you're really low on steel energy, get yourself a bookkeeper. You know, it's going to be worth the investment in a bookkeeper because it's going to save you hours and hours where you can focus on what your natural genius is and be making a lot more money that way. OK, so we've got the Lord here. These are really the numbers people. They will look at a business and they will see where they can save and where you can cut back and where you need to spend more. They'll be excellent at that. OK, and then finally up here we have mechanics. So the mechanic you can see is actually quite up the top of the dynamo. So they've got some steel energy, but they've also got a lot of dynamo energy as well. So what a mechanic is, is great at doing, they come up with a lot of ideas, but they actually look at ideas and say, how can we make this even better? Hence the name mechanic. So they'll, they'll look at existing systems uh, that are in place because this is very much the system side of things. And they'll literally take it apart and put it back together again. So it works even better, even more efficiently, even more profitable. So these people are really good to have in the business as well. OK, so you will be one of these profiles, one of these eight entrepreneurial profiles. Now, today we're going to start off by just doing the Genius U test, which will let you know which of the energies you are, okay? There'll be a link beneath the video here for you to click. And that will take five minutes and it'll start you off. It'll give you an output, which will say you are one of these four, Dynamo, Blaze, Tempo or Steel. And then if you like that, and if you resonate with that, and what I've been explaining in the, the two videos so far, then I'm gonna invite you to take the Wealth Dynamics Profile Test because I believe that everyone should understand which of the eight profiles they are because it will absolutely change the way you think about your work, whether you're an employee, whether you're doing the right role, and maybe you need to speak to your boss even and say to him, look, you know, I really don't think you're getting the best out of me and I'm giving the best that I can because we understand that our wealth increases in relation to the amount of value that we can deliver. OK, so whether we're a business owner, whether we're working in a company for someone else, our value is what dictates how much wealth and how much wages we get paid. We don't get paid for time. OK, this is something Jim Rohn always used to say. You can have two people working at the same company. One will get paid £10 an hour, the other will get paid £100 an hour. You're not getting paid for the time, you're getting paid for the value you put into that time. So if you're not in the role that you're best suited to, that gets the best out of you, you can't give as much value as you might be able to. OK, very important lesson. I hope you've enjoyed that. hope you can read my writing. This is the Wealth Dynamics. We've gone into some, quite a bit of detail today. And this is all really in preparation for our next meetup, which is on the 2nd of November at the Holiday in Bloomsbury. It's Escape the Rat Race. It'll be meeting meetup number 20. And myself and my good friend Lex McKee will be helping you to understand how you can apply this to your own life and get into your own personal flow. And I'll tell you what, once you understand this, it will drastically change things in your life, in all areas, not just money, in your relationships at home and at work.